hey what up decisive marketers so today we're going to be talking about brand overflow and i would say that brand overflow is one of the best value SEO tool. In fact, not just the best value, but the most affordable uh, SEO tool that you can actually uh, get your hands on because their monthly plans kind of start from like four to five dollars a month, which is highly unheard of. Um, from what I know, one of the best uh, value ones, which is actually SE ranking, uh, they if they actually start from $18.60, right? So with brand overflow, you know, we are talking about a third, less than a third of the price. So you're getting very good value out of this as well because their backlink database is also very strong. In fact, comparable to what SE ranking offers. And they also have, uh, you can also look up the index keywords of your competitors. You can uh, do site audits, SEO audits, uh, and you can actually get, uh, you know, they, they do have a white label plan as well, uh, which you do have to pay a little bit more, but you get to, uh, you know, see name your reports uh, and white label them so you can actually use them as a lead magnet to generate leads for your SEO services or agency business right so uh, and I will elaborate a little bit more on that later on and of course they do have rank tracking features but I will also elaborate on that shortly now before I dive into brand overflow be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we go right so i have already added a website as a project with uh brand overflow right so over here um what happens is that uh, um this this is the project right here and they do track like how many keywords you have uh, and what how's the uh, SEO audit and all that right so what happens is that if you add a website as a project it is going to weekly um, update your ranks your, your rankings is going to update your is going to do a uh, website audit as well it's going to you know uh, you know do that on a weekly basis and it's going to monitor your backlinks making sure that you know they don't drop off and things like that right so uh, so what happens is that with brand overflow right uh, when you add a website as a project you um, it is also going to monitor your backlinks so what happens is if your backlinks, uh, you know, they, they disappear, it's going to inform you about that as well. Okay, so that's projects. Uh, I'm going to jump in to this project right here. Let's see if it's fully um, generated. I, I believe it is um, so far. Okay, and what happens is that uh, with the projects feature, how, how it works is that you would connect your uh, brand overflow to your Google search console okay and how the brand overflow rank tracking works um, it 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 basically pulls the rank uh, the rankings from your Google search console um, so what happens is that brand overflow is not actually doing the rank tracking for you it just takes the information from Google Search Console and Google Search Console is the one that is doing that rank tracking for you okay so why does brand overflow uh, do this is because um, they feel that uh, you know that people are always asking hey how come it's um, how come the 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 rankings in my Google Search Console is different from what you guys are actually giving me right because um, rankings is there's a lot of factors that you know differ that 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 cause that difference in the rankings okay so uh, they feel that the best way is just you know let me just pull that data and show it to you instead okay and they would uh, you know uh enhance that information uh they they do also do some rank tracking as well so if there's i believe that if there's no volume or like there's no data they will actually try and rank track 
those keywords, something like that. Um, so it's it's a combination of Google Search Console and some of their you know uh, rank tracking features, uh, but it's mostly uh, Google Search Console, and uh, I believe this is one of the ways that you know they are able to offer uh, to you know offer a uh, very affordable uh, pricing for their you know their software uh, their tool right here okay so it will tell you uh you know everything like your click through rate and everything so all these information comes from your google search console right and one thing th that is actually good about pulling in data from google search console is that you do get additional information like click through rate number of clicks impressions it gives you a much better overview than just um looking at your rankings right so so that's you know um how it looks like and of, it also looks at some of your new and lost keywords right here okay so um so that's how the report works okay and the next one is uh as you can see right here there's also competitor keywords which, will, which we will jump into that very shortly uh the next one is actually the keyword tools okay and uh, with the keyword tool you can choose you can type in the keyword that you want to look up and you can also choose the country that you want to look up and the language right so whatever you looked up you know the report stays here and you can look it up again okay so if you you have a lot of report then you can make use of the search function right here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump into this keyword right here which is called Pico laser okay and this it tells you like month to month what is the search volume uh and what is the adverse difficulty you know how competitive uh this keyword is <coughs> okay and you know you get to see what's the volume of the exact search term so for example Pico laser singapore there is 880 search for this term itself okay and uh it will tell you also like what's the ppc difficulty of the exact keyword uh you know and how similar it is to like your keyword right here okay and it gives you like the trends and stuff like that and you can also see the trees right here okay so like um you know uh how are the keywords being grouped right so it's being is is grouping all these keywords for you if it's a question how is it being grouped for, for you as well right so you can see that uh and that helps you to plan your content uh easily and it also groups the keyword for you as well uh into different phrases okay right so that's how the keyword features work next is the competitor um keyword so um so what happens is that you can uh you can look up a competitor <coughs> um who should i look up okay let's let's look up um I don't want to look up a, a a big website because you know that's going to use up quite a bit of my credits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look up on delify.com. So what happens is that um if you use the keyword feature, okay, the keyword research feature, um it uses uh one credit uh and then whereas if you use the competitor keyword feature it uses two credits. Okay, it uses two credits. So you have um, this <coughs> website right here, um, delify.com. It pulls out, uh, you know, 612 keywords, right? 612 keywords. So it tells you um, and, and what's their ranking as well. So for example, uh, because this is in the US, so the rankings might differ, but maybe we can try that out. So let's say if I were to search background card, you know, I can find that keyword right here. I'm sorry, I can see the result right here. Okay, so, you know, uh, 
but it's it shows that it's ranked two right in the uh, US. Okay, so next is uh, so it also tells you what's the estimated traffic and what's the total search volume. Uh, I guess it's the number of impressions. Maybe I'm not really sure. Okay, and then very low completion uh, keywords. Which ones are there? Uh, low completion, medium completion, high competition. Okay. So, uh, so yep. So, um, maybe let's so. So this is the rank keywords feature. So this I would say that this is kind of useful. So it tells you you know how much traffic that the website gets to uh this country itself which is US. Okay, so you know you can look up your competitor with this uh particular feature itself. Uh <coughs> okay, and then you got some filters and you can see the competitors of this domain as well. Which is uh, you know AppSumo, G two, Product Hunt, SaaS, Worthy, and blah blah blah. Okay, and you can see like you know um, how often their keywords or results are appearing and so on. Okay, so next is we're gonna look up uh, backlinks. So let's okay. So let's look up the same domain right here, uh, which is Dilify dot com. It's gonna take a little while. Okay. While we are waiting for that, let's uh, look up the uh, SEO um, audit feature. Okay, so I did do an audit on my site right here. So it's it tells me, you know, how, what's my pitch health, right? What's my overall website health? So I have uh, two hundred fifty six pages in the site map. But uh, they only crawled two hundred and seventeen, uh, possibly because you know certain pages are not, uh, you know, are not supposed to be indexed or something like that. So you tell me, okay, uh, which pages is missing a H one tag, right? So without H one tag, then you know the information is, is confusing. So, um, you know, we have these three pages right here. Uh, multiple H1 tags, so these ones are causing problems for me. Um, so I can look that up and fix these pages, right? So the cool thing about <coughs> uh, brand overflow is that they do tell you, they do give you a small snippet um, explaining what the problem is, right? So for example, this one is duplicated uh, title tags. Okay, duplicated title tags. That means that these pages um, have the exact same title. So you don't want that. Basically, you want to have a uh, unique title. So you um, so what happens? You can, you can actually um, you know basically it's, you know it doesn't tell you what to do, but it tells you what this problem is so that you can fix it. Okay, two short meta title, right? So you know. Um, you know, it tells you the problems that uh, you know you're facing, and no internal links. Okay, so all my pages have internal links. Okay, internal redirects. Okay, <coughs> I have fifty-one affected pages, so I guess these pages are being redirected or something. Okay, so and it tells me every single page that I have on my website and what the SEO score for that is okay so I can you know try and fix it okay right I can look look at every single page and fix them individually so that's uh, you know a very very nice feature okay <coughs> so that's uh, that's the uh, site audit feature and I can also look up content uh, you know uh, it's you know it's basically the uh, the 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 errors or the 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 problems being grouped into two or three different uh, tabs right here. The next one is technical, right? So any technical issues? So these ones are not being uh, added into the sitemap, okay? And then the links, right? So these are the so these these pages um, have uh, you know error 404 so I got to fix them 
okay and these pages have no internal links okay and these pages are giving a redirect to the home page so you know i should fix them as well so that's how the um, seo audit works okay so next is uh we'll go back to the backlink checker so we can actually look up the backlinks right here okay so this is for delify it says that it has 6.7 thousand backlinks 3.8 of them uh do follow all right and uh it tells me like uh you know i think total subnet is possibly the you know referring domain i think okay and then all the backlinks are in here right all the backlinks are in here okay and then you can export this data itself um yep so so what happens is that you can actually look up and uh you know look at your competitors and you know see like uh i think these are the referring domain sorry these are the referring domains right here so you can actually see like what are the you know webs uh websites that is linking to this website itself so that you can try and you know uh you know acquire some of these links over here uh you can also you know sort them by do follow so you know then what happens they can see all the do follow links right here okay so pretty much that's how uh, you know brand overflow works it's what we call an all-in-one seo tool so you know it does everything you know that you need that means you you know you don't need you don't need a multiple different tools you just need uh brand overflow um right so brand overflow what happens is that with the projects feature is always going to keep updating your rankings on a weekly basis is going to scan your website on a weekly basis going to check for um make sure that your backlinks are live it's going to you know then there is also a keyword research feature for you to plan your content there is also a uh, you know rank keyword so they can actually look up your competitors look up what kind of index keywords they have uh, look up their traffic and so on and you can also look up their backlinks referring domains and you can also do a site audit right so this brand overflow is uh you know uh, an all-in-one seo tool and it's you know being offered at a very good pricing i would say all right so they um there is also a 10 percent off uh brand overflow so if you are keen uh, i have the discount code in the comments below and um you know if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about brand overflow in the comments below and lastly if you know anyone who could benefit from an all-in-one seo too be sure to share this video with them i'll see you in my next video Bye bye